Hello there, Mark here. Welcome to Recent Final Finds number 78. I'm going to start out with this beautiful CD box set. Pick this up at my local AmVets thrift shop. 99 cents. Fantastic find. Of course, no vinyl to be to be had. But I was happy to add this to my collection. This is Elvis Presley, number one singles. Beautiful numbered set. Uh, let's see, this is uh, number 8,708, complete. The CDs are in pristine condition. Came with this fold-out, which replicates all of the, all of the sleeves. And I'll, I'll just go through a couple of the, of the CDs. They did a very nice... Nice job. I love how they um, try to replicate, a, uh, excuse me, replicate a seven inch single. The CDs are black. Nice job with the, with the shaded dog emblem or logo. We have Surrender. What else? Loving You. Fantastic, Suspicious Minds. A couple more here. Let's see. A Big Hunk O Love. And of course you have your, all of your advertisements for other repackaged sets. All right, so that was a uh, very nice find. And then I, I have a bunch of Target closeouts to show you. First one is by Green Day Saviors. This was uh, $7.79. Their strongest effort in years. Fantastic. And I'm going to keep that one. This one, I'm going to play a couple, couple of her tracks um, on YouTube. Uh, but this may be maybe going to the to the record um, the record convention with me. This is uh, J Lo. This is me now, and this was uh, seven seventy nine as well. Fantastic. Uh, this was eleven ninety nine. Pearl Jam, their latest release, Dark Matter. And this is just on standard black vinyl, which is fine with me. This is a fantastic uh, 2LP set, uh, 1199. The singles, 1992 through 2003, no doubt. Absolutely love this band. Uh, I was living actually in Orange County, where the band is from, during their peak years. And uh, I just can't tell you how, how popular they were. Um, if you go to Discogs, uh, they categorize the band as punk ska. Well, that's kind of a stretch. How about pop ska? I think that's more fitting. But this is filled with fantastic titles. Simple Kind of Life, Don't Speak, Ex-Girlfriend, Hella Good. Uh, what, what else? Just a Girl, Hey Baby. Can't wait to break this one open. And actually, Gwen's brother, Eric, started the band. He left uh, pretty early on to pursue a career as an animator, and he worked on The Simpsons for, for quite some time. Stone classic. Love TLC. This was, uh, how much was this? $8.09. Two LP set. Waterfalls is on this one. They do a killer cover of uh, Princess If I Was Your Girlfriend. Uh, Creep. Excellent. Okay. I went in several times. This uh, just wasn't going down in price. Twenty nine ninety seven or twenty nine seventy four, excuse me. 
Last time I went in, I took it up to the scanner. It's finally down to $11.99. Perry Styles, fine line. Not as strong as his previous release, but uh, still, still an album I, I, I like a lot. Of course, you have Watermelon Sugar. I love Sunflower Volume 6. So another nice pickup. I'm keeping this one, keeping the TLC, definitely keeping this compilation. Now that's what I call 90s R&B. Uh, this was uh, $7.49. You have Belle Biv DeVoe, Poison, and Vogue. My Lovin', You're Never Gonna Get It. Ah, Love, Mary J. Blige, Real Love, Mariah, Fantasy. Just filled with, filled with gold. Baby, uh, baby Face, Whip Appeal. Of course, Tony Braxton, Unchain My Heart. You have Brandy and Monica. Uh, the Boy is Mine. Fantastic. Keeping this one. This one is I'm going I'm going to sell. This was a blind buy. This was uh it's like six dollars. I have to look at the name of the band I forgot. Of course I can't see. Uh Ghost. Uh Phantomime. Brought up a couple couple songs on YouTube. Not my cup of tea. Come on, eleven ninety nine for verses. Picked up two copies. Uh, my buddy Sean was visiting uh, about a month ago. I sent him home with some parting gifts. This was one of them. I have not cracked open. Uh, excuse me. I have not opened my copy yet. He's played his. He says it sounds. The sound is amazing, and of course the content is just classic Pearl Jam. Uh, Go animal daughter. Uh, Rearview Mirror, Elderly Woman Behind the Counter in a Small Town. Love that track. Long title. And this is on clear vinyl. Big deal. I'm going to keep that one like I, like I need another copy of Verses. Okay, so I went back to the Antique Mall. Uh, if you remember from a few videos ago, one of the vendors... Um, he was liquid, uh, liquidating his vinyl records. They were all 50% off. Um, Mariah, Me I Am, this was $10. Two LP set. Gonna hold on to this one. I'm a huge Jackson Brown fan. Uh, of course, love his work from, from the 80s. I'm not so familiar with his, his later uh, releases. This is from uh, 2014, Standing in the Breach. Uh, this was uh, $7.50. He's an excellent songwriter, so I'm expecting expecting that to be be a strong strong album. Quincy Jones, The Dude. Uh, this was half price, so it was $9. Just Once is on this classic. Just just that song alone. I do I do own an original pressing of this this um, album. This is a numbered copy, uh, number 1921. This is probably not going to sound uh, uh, better than the original pressing. Uh, Quincy worked uh, with his longtime engineer, Bruce Swedeen. Bruce is one of the finest recording engineers in the business. Um, did I need another copy? No. Did I buy another copy? Keep your comments to yourself. And I went to uh, uh, Barnes and Noble and uh, found two cheap five dollar uh, albums. This one is a, uh, a soundtrack to Carlito's Way. And then we have Hyperspace by Beck. And I I I already own this album. And I've uh, I've gifted this to a friend. Picked up uh, two more OJC pressings. Again, both were ten dollars each. I have a uh, a ten dollar. I'm going to say I'm going to say Honey Hole that I've been uh, digging these out of. Um, this one, I you know, it's two fantastic piano players, two sensational composers. Although I wasn't knocked out by this album, 
Uh, I thought the it was just too much. The plane was 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 too much for me. Uh, Ellington and uh, Billy Strayhorn. This, on the other hand, was absolutely beautiful. The Tommy Flanagan trio. And who do we have on this one? Uh, we have uh, Tommy uh, Potter on bass and Roy Haynes on drums. And you have uh, In the Blue of the Evening, Come Sunday, Born to be Blue, just my speed. Beautiful compositions. Beautiful sounding near mint pressing. We'll end with these three titles. I went to an outdoor market last Sunday. Uh, they only had two vendors selling vinyl. Uh, this one, one vendor had maybe three or four boxes. The records were in great shape. Three for ten. Uh, Till Tuesday, Voices Carry, Amy Mann. Absolute classic. Inner sleeve, just beautiful. Of course, you have the title track, but I also love uh, Love in a Vacuum. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, maybe Monday, ZZ Top, Afterburner. I'm going to keep that album. I'm going to take this one to the record show. Not their strongest title. And um, 80s electronic drums in ZZ Top do not mix well. And that's pretty much what starts off the album. So kind of starts off at a low point and doesn't really recover. And then uh, Spirits Having Flown. Classic by the Bee Gees in the shrink with the hype. I'm keeping this one as well. All right, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll get back to the singles next time. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we'll go back, back down to the basement and continue with the soul singles. And that's it.